I'm speaking on May 6, 2016, and I'm just going to give you a very short summary of our experience. In court yesterday, we were there on behalf of Joe Hunt. And this is will be posted on Facebook, and you all have been receiving many updates, so I just wanted to give you my last impressions. Um, a few months ago, when I was at the prison where Joe is incarcerated, which has the amazing name of Pleasant Valley Prison. Um, I was there with Casey and Michael uh, and Shanti. And Casey is Joe's sister, Michael is her husband. Um, and we were talking about this appeal, appellate court hearing that was scheduled for, as it happened, for yesterday. And we were asking Joe, you know, what can we do to help you? And the thought came, would it help if we were in the courtroom? And of course, you know, uh, a court session is not uh, a popular event. It's, there's no cheerleaders. Court is very formal in its nature, but it was, it was the best that we could think of to do. If we were there to support his attorney when he spoke, if we were there to present to the judges who were deciding the case a picture of this this network of people that even all these years later is really still um, loving and supporting this man that obviously if he came out of prison he would come into a context in which um, his life could go forward in a far more uplifted way. We could add our vibrations to the whole situation and thus the crowd of people, uh, 15 or so of us who uh, were in the courtroom yesterday in Los Angeles. Um, there was a very refined and uh, uplifted energy to the whole experience. Just by coincidence, it happened to be the most beautiful court building I've ever been in. It was just lovely in its design and comfort to be there. It was, it was all very, you know, it's a, a federal appeals court, so it's a very high level. But more than that, it was, it was like the masters were really there with us, and there was this very um, touching sort of vibration of consciousness that was coming through all of us. I think we all felt it. We were, we were very deeply on a divine mission. And the attorney who represented uh, Joe's appeal, Dennis Reardon is his name, he's a well-known attorney and with very good cause, um, very well prepared, very in intelligent and clear-minded in his presentation, an excellent um, approach to the issues, and very passionate in his presentation, which was very satisfying because um, these are not impersonal matters. So, and the judges were also very refined, very bright in their questions, very fair-minded in their engagement with the attorney, so that in every respect we felt like it was happening the way it's supposed to happen. As you know, Ananda's had other court experiences, which have some have been of this caliber and some have not. So it was extremely gratifying to see it happening on this level. And afterwards, we had a long discussion with the attorney. And at the end of all of it, 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 the impression we had, which the attorney confirmed, which I believe to be true, there was enormous integrity in the lawyer's presentation, and the judges recognized that. Law is very complicated. As one of my attorney friends said to me, it is, it is not logical, it is definitely not intuitive, it is to a very large extent political. Political meaning not just subject to the political whims of the time, but political in the sense that one judge will make one decision, another judge will make another decision, those decisions might contradict each other. You have all these elements at play, so it's not always just a reasonable shot. Everything has to be balanced out. But our attorney we really found the thread that pulled it up that, that those judges can use um, to finally make justice happen in this case. And after we had a long discussion with the attorney, the attorney, and he was exactly with us as he had been in court, very well prepared, extremely intelligent, very fair-minded, very articulate, and very passionate about this case. And then we all walked away from there. And 
the feeling that I had, which one doesn't always have this, I really felt like on the human level, we had done everything we could do. You know, many of you around the world are and have been praying for Jai Ram, as Joe Hunt is now called. We're praying for Jai Ram. We're praying for the judges. We could feel that. We had made the effort to be there in, a, in just the right way. The attorney had done his part. The judges had done you know, their part. They have more to do. And now it really is in God's hands. And the next weeks are critical. And so it's very important that everyone keep their attention powerfully focused on this. We're trying to give energy, give divine energy to this situation. Judges are just human beings. Their clerks are just human beings. We need them also to be elevated, as we felt elevated, by all of your prayers and by the Master's energies so that they can perceive this situation from the highest level. The, the legal route is there for them if they will now follow it. And certainly they should. And certainly by every, every understanding that I and us can apply to this, and Swami's own point of view on this all these years, you know, he needs to be released from jail. Ram needs a victory here. Jai Ram. And that's what we're hoping for. So we, we went through that adventure, and now it's really in God's hands and up to us to hold this so powerfully in the light um, that justice will prevail. And um, in the Bible it says, Jesus says, you know, I was in prison and you visited me. I often think about that. And I often think about it in reverse. If our karma brought us, any one of us, which it could, you never know, to some extremely difficult circumstances Jai Ram has fa is facing in this karma. Think what it would mean, I think to myself, think what it would mean to me to know that all my brothers and sisters hadn't forgotten me, but were holding me in their hearts at all times. So this is our opportunity to serve in this way. And on Jai Ram's behalf and his family and Swamiji and all of us, you know, let us unite our spirits in this righteous cause. God bless you.